Hey guys, I hope you're well. Been a little while since I got to publish any kind of like automation or workflow related stuff. Mostly I've been putting out like OnlyFans content. So I wanted to share a like content repurposing automation that I've built out. So I've been using this on my own, on my own YouTube channel to automatically cut down videos into shorts and then republishing them automatically onto YouTube shorts, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram reels, and so on. So yeah, first off, I'll start off by sharing like a little plugin that we actually built out ourselves that will automatically try to generate shorts for you by if you just provide a long form video like a YouTube link it will try to grab like the highlights automatically for you so you can go and just plug in any video URL and before I was doing this manually which is fine but I was trying to yeah just optimize the process for me a little bit of course if you do it manually you can get exactly what you want but it just takes a ton of time so instead I can literally just add a link it's going to take a couple of minutes to run through it has to extract the whole video then it has to understand all of the text but it will generate about 30 to 40 short clips that I can just download at the click of a button and then I can just go ahead and republish them or I can make any edits that I want to them. So this works like really well, long form content, like you can see a few that I've done already. These are both my videos and that one I input it. It's a 20 minute video and it generated like 44 shorts. So yeah, that's currently being like processed and pending. If I come in here and like I can come in and view the shorts. So these are like transcribed. It gives me the, the subtitles and it, it, the AI tries to understand what is the subject that I'm talking about. So these are all social networking. This is talking about OnlyFans. I, it's actually mi misunderstood there. But in all of these cases, it understands that I'm talking about Instagram here. It understands I'm talking about content and video production. So it's really quite good. And then I can literally just click download. That's going to download like the MP4 which will give me like the short form content. This is a 20 second clip. And I can go ahead and just upload that straight away to, it depends on how much like involvement you want in it. Because the way that I actually do it is I will come in here. I will add in subtitles. Like here we can do dynamic text. I'm in here, we'll make that blue. So this is a tool called Descript. Descript is just going to go ahead and grab, grab all of the text as well. I want to change the format. I want portrait mode. And now I can just put the subtitle down here. And I don't know, I just quite like the animation of Descript, like it's really quite clean. And then I can just go and highlight all of this text, just click share, export as video. And I've got like a YouTube short done with like, with subtitles and it looks like pretty professional. And that took me like, what, two minutes to do. You could easily assign this to like a VA or just do it yourself. So basically I will like skim through the text here just to understand the subject that I'm talking about. Download the videos. Perhaps there's going to be a few here that I'm not interested in at all. Like for example, I noticed it picked up the welcome. I'm not going to make a YouTube short out of that, but otherwise most of the other ones are pretty good. I'll download them, turn them into shorts, and then I will put them into a tool called repurpose.io. And this is really quite interesting actually. You can build out automations for publishing on multiple different social media platforms. So you connect all of your accounts once. So I've got a secondary YouTube channel and Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and LinkedIn connected. And all I will do is whenever I put a short into Google Drive, it will automatically be posted on these platforms. This is like in beta and early stages. So I actually had to build an automation here that moves each video over every three hours just to make sure that there's no like delays built in here which is it seems quite basic to me but they haven't built it in so anyway i just built an automation very quickly this will publish one video every three hours into the google drive folder that repurpose is listening to and then they will go ahead and publish it onto youtube shorts instagram tiktok twitter and linkedin so in that two minutes that it took me to create that short video i can go ahead and publish that onto onto five different platforms and perhaps anyone who like follows me on Instagram has noticed the sheer number of shorts that I've been publishing recently is because I've been playing around and like testing testing out these automations but the results have have actually really been quite good on YouTube as well YouTube is like very hard to get subscribers on in the early stages it, it's really very slow and on an account that's got zero well, now it's got seven subscribers. I picked up 2,300 views in the past seven days. 
off of about one hour worth of work, which is actually great. It's really quite good. I was very happy with that. Plus I've also done TikTok. Some of them are getting like 15,000 views. And this is just off content that I've already made and is literally just being like republished onto these platforms. It's like a completely missed opportunity if you're, if you're not doing so. So yeah, I literally just, I'm going through the process of plugging in all of my videos into, in fact, oh, I'm going to hire a virtual assistant to do this. But yeah, plugging all the videos in, downloading all of the shorts, putting them into Descript, adding the subtitles on there, putting them into Google Drive, and then repurpose handles, publishing them onto onto all of these different platforms, essentially. Yeah, that is, that workflow is working pretty well for me. So that could also work with any other form of like long form video content that you've made, just plug it into the, to the software, it will try to pick out the most interesting parts and then just go ahead and republish using repurpose.